Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we're doing something just a little bit different. We had someone come into chat on stream today talking about how all of my decks were bad and various claims about MMR that were just very incorrect. So I decided to take the time to talk with this complete waste of toilet paper in order to clear up some of that stuff. Just to be clear, if you ever hear me say some dumb shit, Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I know a lot of you people do already. You can always come into my stream and let me know in chat. But if you're going to be aggro about it like this idiot fuck, I might just make you look dumber than the two brain cells that this person has. Let me know if you want to see more random videos like this in the comment section below. But more importantly, tap that like button, smash that sub button, stay salty, and enjoy the video. There are going to be a few claims made in this video by this brainlet that I would like to address and disprove as it kind of seems that a lot of people have similar views or may just not understand how the system works. Claim number one. Matchmaker in ranked will only match you up against other decks with similar card quality. Starting off with claim number one, Matchmaker in ranked does not reference your deck strength at all whatsoever, period, end of story. It never has, and it never will. This was confirmed by a Watsi employee, Chromulus, Cromulus, Cornelius, Cornelius, Multipass, I don't, I don't know, I have no idea, but over on Reddit, I'm sure the post will be somewhere here, but he says verbatim, there is no deck-based matchmaking in the ranked queue, period. There are, however, a lot of people, and when there's a lot of people doing something, unlikely things regularly happen to someone, which is obviously true, statistically. There is, however, deck-based matchmaking in the play queue as well as the constructed events. Now, with the recent changes in the constructed events, I don't know if that's still true, but we do know it's still true for the open play queue. What they have are various weighting systems in place for various queues. These systems are rank, win-loss ratio within an event, player matchmaking rating, or MMR, the deck, and the games played. Now, obviously, they don't use all these weights in all the formats. That wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, of course, the only time rank matters is when you're playing in a ranked event. So here's a quick breakdown of all the various cues, but if you want the full breakdown, you can get that by clicking on the card that pops out at the top right-hand corner of the screen. There's also a bunch of links in the description below that will link to all the various resources and cite everything that I'm talking about in this video. The weighting systems that they use for play best of one queue are gonna be the open play MMR, the games played, and the deck weight. So this is just gonna put you in an open play MMR pool and then it's gonna do a second check to verify that yours and the opponent's decks are of similar strength. Now they don't really go into what deck strength is. There's some type of algorithm. I'm sure they compare uh, what cards have a higher win rate when paired. Uh, they do something like that, but they don't really go into the specifics of that particular algorithm. But after that, it looks at the number of games that you have played up to 50 and other people up to 50. So this makes it so that new players are kind of guaranteed to only go up against newer players. So new players with bad decks should go up against new players with bad decks. This is really good system, makes it new player friendly, and that's exactly why they do it. Now the traditional player, best of three Q, whatever you want to call it, is only based on the open play MMR. So unlike best of one, it'll never factor in your games played or your deck strength. With rank best of one, it will only use rank and constructed MMR. Now this is primarily based on your rank. So if you're diamond four, you'll most likely end up being paired against other people in diamond four, but there is a secondary look at constructed MMR as well, but ranked will not use your deck strength in matchmaking. They do also go over a bunch of the other formats like sealed and the events, all that stuff. So if you wanna take a look at all that, again, you can reference the document. The links will be in the description below. Now, if you wanna know the rating system that they use for MTGA, it's a variation of the ELO system called Glyco 2. Now, it's the same rating system that many online games use, like Pokemon Showdown, Chess.com, OGS, CSGO, TF2, Dota Underlords, Guild Wars 2, Splatoon 2, and a bunch more. I mean, it, a lot of people use this rating system. So it's not like it's just broken or they invented it and it's just messed up all over the place. This is a very well-established ranking system. That covers the first claim completely, so let's move on to claim number two. 
Jank is only viable in ranked because of that particular system. This is obviously just untrue. I proved all of that incorrect in the evidence of claim number one. So, yeah. Claim number three is probably the only claim that they got correct, except for the fact that they got to that conclusion completely accidentally. They had no idea what they were talking about. They were following the wrong trail of logic. And their claim, the way they came to that conclusion, completely disproves claim number one and two that they made. So the claim was that I only make it to Mythic because of the lower quality decks that I play against. Now, this is essentially true because I play a lot of jank, I mess around a lot, so my MMR is pretty low. And again, if your MMR is low, you're going to be matched up against people with low MMR or similar MMR of yours. I mean, that's exactly the point of MMR, to match against people with similar MMR. So I don't know what this claim is supposed to prove, uh, but the way that they were talking about it makes absolutely no sense. It kind of proves my point, which disproves their claim number one and two. So claim number four is that meta decks run into 90% meta decks and jank decks run into about 50% meta decks. And having a sample size of nine games from a CGB video is bulletproof evidence of this. Again, I hate bringing CGB into this video whatsoever because this guy is just a fucking smooth brain CGB dick writer that doesn't know how statistics work. But CGB did say a couple things in the stats part of this video that are kind of just incorrect. And since this person referenced it so many times, I do have to talk about it. 100% win rate on the draw, 75% on play, 89% win rate, eight and one, all in high mythic. Guys, this outro is a public service reminder that while people really, really want to believe stats and it excites people, and that's why we have to do things like put them in titles and thumbnails and things like that uh, if we want to succeed as YouTubers, stats and win rates on MTG Arena are a scam. This clip is true because when you have a sample size of 10 games, you're not really getting any actual data to come to a conclusion that makes any sense. Because if you go up against 10 different decks or nine different decks or eight different decks, it doesn't matter. You have no idea on how strong your deck is against that specific archetype. Because if your opponent drew poorly, they didn't draw the cards that answer your deck. If you drew the nuts, there's so many different factors, especially in magic. Now, if this was more of like a rock, paper, scissors or something, I know there's so many different variables if it's concentrated, but this is magic. So the amount of games that you have to play to get a true data set against each archetype, if you're playing against mono red aggro, you'll know how well your deck does against specifically mono red aggro at minimum 100 games. Statistically speaking, by statisticians, that is the source. That is just what they say. Minimum 100 games. Minimum. And even then, that's pretty low. Even the ELO system says 1,000. But we'll just say 100. Now, obviously, this is going to be different depending on what kind of sample you need and what kind of experiment you're running, but there's a calculation for that if you really want to run it on Wikipedia. I don't exactly know how to do it because I'm not a fucking math major, but I can assure you that the sample size for what deck you're running, if it's better than a different deck, is going to be way more than one or two. It's just preposterous that you think it would be otherwise. It is a scam. I think that this video is a good example as to why. Because the algorithm took a look at our deck, saw it wasn't similar to other decks being played in the meta, it didn't have as many rares and mythics as other decks in the meta, and it gave us opponents who had similar configurations of some kind. Somehow it decided that we needed to play against goblins, against uh, invoke invoke lore hold decks that you know that didn't really do much I, we had a very easy time a lot of these were what i would call softballs now this is just completely incorrect and i outlined that in claim number one sorry cgb however he did bring up a great point right after that please guys while don't shame youtubers for giving you stats win rates things like that in the thumbnails in the titles they're doing what you want them to do 
Like that, this is what the people secretly want. They go want to go out there and find the 89% win rate deck. That is an option. And people want to build their brand on YouTube. So they're trying to get you to watch it. But the fact is, no matter what it says, it's always a scam, uh, unless it's literally like a pro player playing only against other pro players and getting an 80 something percent win rate with a deck nobody is playing. Then you actually broke it. That is so rare and basically unseen nowadays that the, by the time it happens on Twitch, the deck is already omnipresent within two days. So uh, just don't overreact to win rates and you know, kind of understand where people are coming from, why they do what they do. Clickbait is indeed unreasonably effective, but it's because you're just a little in the back of your, you know, eight, your monkey brain, it's just a little shallow. You just want those easy wins. You don't want to work so hard. Note that he says only pro players going up against other pro players. I definitely agree with this. If you want real results, look at tournament decks. Any pro player will tell you that ladder play is different than tournament play. Now, there's a lot of jaded pro players that will say ladder play is completely worthless and doesn't mean anything that i also disagree with because a lot of the tournament decks evolve from ladder play however they evolve from ladder play they don't devolve <laughs> from ladder play you see what i'm saying now claim number five was that facts don't matter to me and that i won't listen to any evidence regardless this is just completely incorrect, wildly incorrect, because, well, I have evidence from Watsi employees stating it on various social media platforms, as well as the official newsletters that they put on their website. His proof was CGB stating it in one video where he played nine games with a mono black zombie deck. I'm sorry, I'm going to say that my evidence is just like a tiny bit, tiny bit more credible. As much as I love CGB, I, I feel like I'm shitting on CGB this whole video, and I'm really not. I actually, re I really like CGB. We get along. But <laughs> this motherfucker, this motherfucker is just taking CGB's words and like skewing them into some bullshit. Oh, I fucking hate this. This guy's such a sack of shit. I hate this motherfucker. So claim number six was that Watsi didn't confirm MMR at all and that the MMR was just a study done by some random user on the internet, and that random user is somehow more reputable than CGB. Now, I don't even know what this guy is talking about or what he's referencing at this point. If Watsi employees and their website are just random people online and CGB is more credible than them, then I have literally no idea how I can convince this person otherwise. At this point, I pretty much just gave up on the conversation because there really is, there's no way, it's impossible. It's actually just impossible. Um, but if anyone else had doubts or anyone didn't know how it works, because I know a lot of people didn't know how it works or they weren't sure, or they heard a lot of rumors, maybe like this person, but hopefully this educated at least a little bit. And you can also find out a lot more details using the links in the description below. So after I showed this complete waste of oxygen, all of this evidence, their comeback was, Watsi only wants to sell you cards and will say anything. Alt content creators confirmed. This is when I finally banned the guy just for being a dumb fuck at this point. I have zero problems. Once again, I have zero problems being incorrect. If I'm incorrect about anything, please let me know in the comment section below. Give me some link. Show me resources. I have no problems making adjustments to this video, making a follow-up video, calling myself a dumb fuck, calling myself a waste of oxygen. I told him on stream, he had bulletproof evidence. I said, if I'm incorrect, I will gift you a sub and admit that I am incorrect. And he still said that I won't listen to evidence. I don't know. He didn't provide me with any evidence. But, again, if I'm ever wrong about anything, I have zero problems correcting myself. But, if you're going to come at me all aggro-like, you're going to have to have something to back it up with.
And that's where I'm going to cut the video off for now. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something at the very least, like how to tap that like button, smash that sub button. If you haven't, now you know. It's like buttons down there. Do it. Come out video seven days a week across both YouTube channels. We do top tens for uh, salty moments, cool moments uh, across the entire MTG community. So make sure you check that out on the other YouTube channel. Link will be the top right hand corner of the card will pop out. And then this channel is primarily for gameplay. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.